I think we found the insta-famous spot of the Rialto Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Happy travelers! It is another beautiful day in Venice. So gorgeous, nice breeze, sun is out. Not too hot. Amazing. We're going out for another day of exploring and today we're planning on going to another island uh, called Burano. Burano has some very very colorful buildings. It's a canaled island just like Venice is but it's about 45 minutes away. And it's not super straightforward to get there, so it's gonna be a little bit of an adventure. So unfortunately, the Hilton shuttle boat is not running right now, I guess due to COVID, so we've had to navigate the water bus. A little bit of money, but it's all right. It's not that complicated. Once again, we've made it to the water bus stop at St. Mark's Square. It's much less crowded than it was yesterday, so our theory about the Italian holiday, I think, was correct. Now, we have to go to the other side of the main island to take the boat to Burano, but we have a couple of things we want to hit on the way over there, so instead of taking the water taxi around, we're going to walk through the heart of Venice because it's amazing and we want to see more of it. about to head to Burano. We walked to the other side of the main island of Venice. We have to catch a boat from here and it's about a 45 minute boat ride. It was not included in our regular water bus tickets. It was 30 euros for the both of us for a round trip, which is a little pricey, but this is one of those things that we haven't done yet and it looks awesome, so it's all right. So we haven't eaten yet and we only have like about 10 minutes before our boat. So we just grabbed a slice. That's the awesome thing about Italy is you can just a slice of pizza to go. All right, we just stepped foot on the island of Burano. This island is famous for its very colorful houses, which I'm not sure of the history of why they're so colorful, but if you want to paint your house here, you have to go through the government and they give you a list of approved colors, so they have a whole system. It's also famous for its lace making. It's supposed to be a very ancient and intricate process, which means the lace is very expensive, so we probably won't be coming home with any of that. But it was about a 45 minute water bus ride from the main island of Venice, and it's supposed to be a fun tourist spot for people to wander around. People don't really stay here overnight, it's kind of just a day trip, which is exactly what we're doing. The whole island of Burano is full of photo opportunities. It's a relatively small island and can be explored in a few hours. We don't seem to make it very far or very long without stopping to get either a coffee, an aperitif, or some food. We're not eating big meals, we're just eating the little cicchetti they have in Venezia. I got mozzarella balls, which I think is fried mozzarella. Looks like a cake pop, but it's mozzarella. <laughs> ah, it's so hot. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, it just burned my tongue. That was terrible. That was the worst. <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Don't ever bite straight into the mozzarella balls. 
It gets pretty warm midday here, so it's really nice to just sit down and kind of cool off in the shade and have a drink for a little while while A, the light gets better, and B, it gets a little bit cooler. But we finished our food and drink, and we're headed to more photo spots and to explore Burano more. We took the boat transfer back to the main island of Venice and we are going to head now to the Rialto Bridge because the light is really, really good and I think we can get some sunset photos over there. It's about a 10 minute walk that way. An honest assessment of Burano. If it is your first time in Venice, I would say skip Burano. If you've been to Venice a couple of times, you should go just because it's cool or if you really like taking Instagram photos, it's nice for that. So you're walking through like residential streets and stuff like that. So unless you really want to take photos of those, that's pretty much all Burano is. And plus it's 45 minutes one way to get there and it's 15 euros per person round trip. So unless you're really into photography or really have seen everything Venice has to offer, Burano, maybe not so worth it. the insta-famous spot of the Rialto Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the light is awesome right now and I've seen lots of Instagram photos here and in case you haven't gotten it from our trip to Italy, we like Instagram. <laughs> We've had an awesome couple of days running around Venice. We're exhausted. Today is our last day of our epic five week trip. Italy, yeah. Iceland, it's all amazing. We're ending it in the most epic location. That's the Rialto Bridge in the background. We start our journey back home tomorrow. We're going back to Milan and then flying like 14 hours back to Los Angeles. Thanks so much for following us around Venice. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. That really helps support us. And we will see you on the next one. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Aqua Tourists. Peace out. <laughs>